Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, it's a little bit gray here in my world. I thought I'd do a video. I wasn't able, I was just, I was all ready to go out and uh, get some food uh, about an hour, hour and a half ago. Um, and just as I get my bike out, get ready, just stepping out the door, it starts to rain. So, always happy for some rain, although now that it's midday, it's feeling mighty steamy. Like we're, like we're going to pay for that mid-morning rain here. Um, anyhow, I was just uh, looking around a little bit online this morning, watching a few videos, and got to thinking about processed foods. And um, when I was looking around, I started watching some videos on what people's thoughts were on processed food and how it fits into this uh, raw vegan or high carb vegan world or just vegan world in general. It's kind of an interesting subject for everybody, uh, or that everybody seems to have an opinion or discusses or thought or has thoughts about. Um, and like most things, it's 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 funny how human beings are. Like I, I, you know, like I told you guys, I pay attention to the big picture, how things trend all the time. And it just seems like humans just always want to be argumentative. They need to have an extreme. They need to have a side to fall on. They have the need to have a side to defend. So like any other topic in, um, in the health world, in the raw food world, in the high-carb vegan world, and whatever, there was extremes on both sides. So as, as you know, I'll just kind of preface by saying if, if somebody happens to be watching this video that hasn't watched me regularly, I kind of send, tend to fall in the middle. I'm not big on extremisms on either end. I'm not big on exaggerations. Because, you know, there's the ones on the and both have valid points arguing against the other ones, the extremists. Like, okay, no, when I say uh, processed food, I'm not taking it to a ridiculous level. We all eat, most of us probably do. I won't speak for everybody, but I would say that the 99.999% of us eat a fair amount of processed food, even if we are very high carb vegans and we eat a lot of fresh food. Now, I don't mean that when I say a lot, a lot is a relative term. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know how much exactly processed food I eat, but what I'm getting at is I'm not going to try to claim some purity la label and be, and be fanatic about rooting out every little thing that's possibly the slightest process. And then we have on the other side the people that are constantly, uh, uh, you know, talking about like kind of on the side of the, pro the processed food because that's what they live on. And of course you're going to defend what you do, whether whether it's valid or not. Now, like I say, that's everybody's choice. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are ethical vegans that don't really care about the health aspects of the food. And you know what? Good on them. I uh, totally respect those folks that are out there fighting for the animal rights every day. But for the average person, it's just, you know, I, I see a lot of people making mistakes just kind of like, oh, I'm part of the club. And it's even worse in the raw because I think people really have to make some stretches sometimes to, um, to stay raw above everything else. You know, there's, there's products out there, and even in these stores, that they're called uh, raw, and, uh, but they just seem mighty processed to me. Um, and I'm not to say that everything that comes in a box or package is bad, you know. Like, I don't eat them, but I know a lot of people eat the whole grains. Rice comes in a box. There's a lot of things that come in a box um, that's not that bad. One thing I would try to, I would say, and I found this, and I should have marked where I saw this, which one of the things I was reading in, but it says, and it makes a lot of sense, try to keep your packaged products to five ingredients or less. When you got five ingredients, you know, we all, like I say, are going to have uh, processed and packaged food from time to time, but, you know, the less, thing, the less ingredients, the better, and know what your ingredients are. You know, I look back to the times before I came to this lifestyle when I'm looking at labels and there's 30 or 40 ingredients and I don't know what a good 20 of them are and they have just such the most un unbelievable names, you know, totally these scientific names. And, and also too, sometimes people will talk about and they go into these, you know, sometimes if I talk about something that is optimal, I understand not everybody in this world can do optimal. That's, that, that's across the board. That's for different aspects of life. That's not food. So I don't need people to give me a long list of reasons why they have to eat processed food. Your life is your life. You have to make the decisions. You have to decide where you draw the line. But once again, like I did a video a while back ago, when people just tend to tell me this and tell me about some sort of special circumstances, I'm not uh, unsympathetic to that, but I'm like, yes, so what? What are you telling me? just because your circumstances don't alter reality. There's still, a, there's still the fact that a whole, whole, 
whole plant-based food is better than something that comes in a package. Now, I totally understand. There are situations, there are circumstances people live in, and you do the best you can. I'll always keep throwing that in there. Maybe I should just like try to get some sort of a loop that just loops that into all my videos. I'm talking about the optimal, but you always have to do the best you can can, so I can understand that. So don't, you know, when people, and sometimes I get into discussions and people point out the most obvious things, and I'm like, well, isn't that obvious? Did you actually even need to say that? Did you think I wasn't even thinking that? That I'm like, okay, this is the only way, no matter what you're doing. If you got to get a gun and go out and rob to get the best of the best, no, do the best you can, but as little processed as possible is optimal. It is what it is. Um, one, uh, one last thing, and I'm going to keep this one kind of, uh, you know, kind of uh, short. Um, just, just some of the reasons is, like I say, a lot of the processed food, they tend to hide, well, it's not hidden, even they have to put it on the box, but a lot of times I don't even know how to decipher what all that, that stuff on the box means, but they hide a lot of, there's a lot of sugar in there, there's a lot of salt, sodium, the, well, the sodium content, MSG preservatives there's just so many reasons you want to stay away from that stuff um, when possible like I say whether you you know circumstances circumstances dictate you have to do what you do to live the best version of this high carb vegan lifestyle that you can um, so do what you got to do and during transition the processed food does have a, have its place during transition. I guess what I'll wrap this up by saying is, is just understand that fresh food, fresh food is always better than packaged food. Always. Always, always, always. Well, unless I guess it's rotten or poisoned fresh food. I mean, there's all, okay, there will be a, um, an exception, but you get what I'm saying. Fresh food, always first. But you decide where you draw the line. But as much as possible, as you're getting these animal products out of your diet, it's very, very, very important to work on the process stuff too. Anyhow, just my two cents worth. Hope you guys like this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and hope you're having a wonderful week. Peace.